Hello children, welcome to another EVS1 session today. So let's begin our class with a wonderful positive and motivating thought. What is it? There is no substitute to hard work. That means there is no shortcut to hard work. We have to do the hard work if you if we want to have success in our life. Uh, so today we actually have to learn something about the concept of day and night. As you can see here, um, some part of the earth has day and some part of the earth has night. So how does this happen? If you see here, the part of the earth which is close to the sun has day and the part of the earth which is away from sun has the night. Okay, so basically uh, sunrise, noon and sunset are caused due to rotation of the earth. Remember rotation of the earth? We have seen what is rotation of the earth children? When the earth moves around itself, around its own axis, that is said to be the rotation of the earth. Uh, remember we had learned earth's axis, isn't it? And earth's axis is inclined, tilted, isn't it? So when this earth moves around its own axis, it is said to be the rotation of earth. Huh. Let's see the next slide. Uh, what is day? Uh, the period of time the earth takes to complete one rotation is called a day. Okay, you can see here. So when earth completes its one rotation around itself, that period is said to be a day. So how we have divided this day? We have divided this day into 24 hours. You know this, isn't it? So again, I want to repeat this. When earth or the time earth takes to complete one rotation around itself is said to be a day. Okay, when earth moves around itself, okay, the that particular time is said to be a day. Okay, so the period of time the earth takes to complete one rotation around itself is said to be a day. And each day is divided into 24 hours. Yes, let's move ahead. A year. Okay, so the time earth takes to complete one revolution around the sun is called a year. Remember something about the revolution children. What is revolution of earth? When earth moves around the sun, it is called the revolution. So the time earth takes to complete one revolution around the sun is said to be a year. Again, I repeat, the time taken by the earth to uh, complete one revolution around the sun is said to be a year. So, uh, what is the time period for year? One year consists of 365 days and 6 hours. Again, I repeat, one year consists of what? Uh, 365 days and 6 hours. Okay, so what is day children? Uh, when earth, the time uh, which is taken by the earth to complete one rotation around itself is said to be the day. And the time period taken by the earth to complete one revolution around the sun is said to be a year. Year has 365 days and 6 hours. Yes. So what we have learned today children? The period of time the earth takes to complete one rotation around itself is called a day. Each day has 24 hours. The period of time the earth takes to complete one revolution around the sun, to move around the sun is called a year. Basically what children? Uh, the time period taken by earth to move around itself is said to be a day and the time taken by the earth to move around the sun is said to be a year. A year consists of 365 days and 6 hours. So what is your today's homework children? You have to write points written under the heading what we have learned for two times in your notebook. Okay, that is about the day and a year. So these points you will write down in your notebook. That's all for today's lesson children. We will again continue in our next period. Till then, bye to all of you. Take very good care of you. Okay? So, bye to all of you.